everybody welcome back to Taji's world of books and I should say this is my weekly book haul hey you guys welcome back so let me first start off by saying I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to get up my Monday video um, I know some of you guys have reached out to me and it makes me feel so good that you guys are looking forward to the content that I'm creating. But I had to update my iMovie and apparently the operating system that I was operating, working on on my Mac was so old that I couldn't update iMovie and when I tried to update it, it wouldn't work. And so I had to drop my, my computer off at the Mac store and they ultimately had it like they were it was supposed to take a day and they ultimately had it all weekend so i wasn't able to upload any content um this weekend so i missed my monday video but that will not be a regular occurrence don't worry i am going to continue doing book hauls and recommendation videos and my weekly reading wrap-ups and anything else i can think of because i absolutely love talking about books and talking about what i'm reading and you guys are loving it so don't worry i'm here to stay that was only a little mishap Okay, so you guys are here for the book haul. I um, I like to tell you where I got my books from for the particular book haul that I'm doing. So this week I did a, it's a um, book outlet, Colleen Hoover's website and Amazon. And so I'm gonna start off by talking about the books that I got from Colleen Hoover. And I loved that when you do an order for through Colleen Hoover, she go ahead, she gives you a 15% off coupon. So if you want to order the next books in her series, I got these books to round out my Colleen Hoover collection. So these are the last books that I did not have that Colleen Hoover has written. And so now I have everything that she has written. Okay. So I got Heart and Bones, and again, I'm not gonna and I and I love that she you know, personalize them to me. And I'm just going to go into a really brief explanation because I have like 20 books to get through. So a brief explanation. Bea comes from a life of poverty and neglect. Sam Flynn comes from a family of wealth. The two find themselves spending the summers as neighbors. They soon realize money is one of the few things they don't have in common. Their bond is too tense, too intense to ignore. So it's a summertime romance type situation. Ooh. I love she says what they don't realize is that the rip current is coming and it's about to drag both their hearts out to sea. So I'm really excited to dive into that. I have heard lots of really good things about Layla. What I know about this is that it's a vampire. I believe it's a vampire romance. Lead, lead meets Layla. He is convinced that he'll spend the rest of his life with her until an unexpected attack leaves Layla fighting for her life. After weeks in the hospital, Layla recovers, but emotional, mentally scarred, has altered the woman Leeds has fallen in love with. In order to get the relationship back on track, Leela whisks her away to a bed and breast breakfast. It's like to try to like re regenerate their relationship and I guess some unexplicable occurrences start to happen when they are there together. Feeling distant from Layla, Leeds, Leeds soon finds solace in Willow, another guest of the B&B &B, with whom he forms a connection through their shared concerns. As his curiosity for Willow grows, his decision to help her find answers puts him in conflict with Layla's well-being. <gasps> Ooh, this sounds really good. So I'm like excited to jump into that. Again, I'm trying to go really quickly because I don't want this video to be forever. And then the last um, book that I don't, I didn't have from C Colleen Hoover, it looks like it's written by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher, is Just Remember Never Never, the complete series. So together they've com com created a gripping romantic tale unlike any other. How odd to be made of flesh, balanced on bone, and filled with a soul you've never met. Charlize and Silas have been best friends since they could walk. They've been in love since the age of 14, but as of this morning, they are complete strangers. Their first kiss, their first fight, the moment they fell in love, every memory has vanished. I don't care what our real first kiss was, he says. The ones 
that's the one I want to remember. So, um, Charlize and, C and Silas must work together to uncover the truth about what happened to them and why. But the more they learn about the couple they used to, do, used to be, the more questions they have and why they were together in the first place. What I want to remember what it is like to feel like someone loves me. Wow, this sounds really good. So Colleen Hoover always writes an emotionally heart-wrenching series and or book, and so I'm expecting that to be no different. Okay, so then the next book I went ahead and got, I saw on Instagram that this finally came back in, is the uh, first book in the Off Balance series, which is Balance, and you guys all probably know that it was out of print for quite a while. Now, the thing that I'm disappointed, this was on my TBR for a really long time and I was dragging my feet because it's not on audiobook and I tend to listen, listen to all of my books on audiobook, but I've heard so many really good things and I slept and waited and they came, they finally reprinted it, but my understanding is that this is the edited clean version and it's not the risky first version. What can I do unless I find that somebody has... You know put it on secondhand whatever so I, got, I went ahead and got this and this is a dark romance my understanding it's between a coach and a instructor she's she's a gymnast and it's between the coach and the gymnast and there's a lot of like hanky panky but I also have found that um, everybody loves Kova everybody talks a lot about Kova and their relationship and they put him at the top of like the ultimate bad boy type situation and so I went ahead and got it so I have the complete Off Balance series now, and I'm going to go ahead and read it. Okay, so also, these are my books now that I got from Better World Books. wanted to round out my order. So I went ahead and got book three and four of the Oldie But Goodie Stephanie Myers series. And I'm really looking forward to uh, reading these. I watched the movies, but I have not read the books. So this is Eclipse. And this is Breaking Dawn and I have two of the other books over there so I'm ultimately because you know the books are always better than the movies so um, and who doesn't love Edward and Bella and so I'm gonna get into these and read these I don't need to tell you paranormal vampire romance um, forbidden in the sense that you know vampires and humans are not supposed to get together but they do okay the last of the books that I got, I went ahead to round out my orders. I went ahead and picked up Helena Hunting's Meet Cute. And this is just really quickly, Caitlin Flower was always calm, rational, and controlled until she ended up sprawled all over Daxton Hughes, a former actor. She currently, or she had a total crush on as a teenager. Then she did the unthinkable. She became a fangirl in five seconds flat, which may or may not have included her professing her undying love. In fact, their meet cute led to a friendship she never saw coming. Of course, she never saw betrayal coming either. Now Dax needs her help. As a guardian to his 13-year-old sister, he is way in way over his head. She isn't heartless enough to make him fend for himself. So soon, their friendly meeting turns into flirty dinners, et cetera, et cetera. So this is going to be a contemporary, and it's about their meet cute. I'm excited. Helena Hunting writes a good story. No. Then I went ahead and picked up Rebecca, and Rebecca is by Daphne Demure. And my understanding is that this is a romance. It's very gothic. Um, it's set in the Cornish coast, and it's supposed to be really, um, really, really good. And it's a romantic suspense. I'm excited to check it out. Yeah, it's supposed to be very whimsical. Like I said, it's gothic. And she is supposed to, you know, it's a vivid nightmare type mastery of suspense. And everything is sort of all brought in together. And I'm excited to read a mystery romance. I'm into it. So let's see what this is about. So then, let's see, let's see. Where do I want to go? All right, so then I went ahead and picked up a couple of these. These are a fusion novel. Um, this is by Kristen Proby, and they are captioned by Sylvia Day. Um, and these are supposed to be, you know, they. So it, this one is Camille or Cami Larue was five years old when she first fell in love with Landon. 
Everybody told her it was puppy love. And he turns around and leaves town and she's broken hearted. She grew up and moved on. But then 12 years later, their paths cross. So it's a second chance romance. This one, um, Blush For Me, again by Kristen Proby. She basically owns a wine bar and her name is Katrina. And Ryan is the owner of a successful wine touring company. And so it's a workplace romance. They come together uh, because of their work environment. She is a take charge type of person and but at the same time he's stubborn as well so he, they fight again so it's an enemies to lovers kind of push and pull angsty type romance I'm excited for it uh, I went ahead and picked up Heart of Ash by Kim Liggett and this again is a eerie and passionate suspenseful romance and again I'm here for it it's supposed to be sexy it's a dark romance it's haunted it's twisted so Ash has escaped from an immortal worshiping cult that killed her mother but the love of her life is still under its thrall and so Dane has been possessed by his diabolical ancestor Coronado a man who's fabulously wealthy dripping with fame and the leader of Europe's most dangerous immortal network and so it's the story of escape and second chances and romance and intrigue and I'm super, super excited. It's supposed to be wildly unique and very passionate. And so I'm really excited to try it. American Royals by Catherine McGee. And I love this because my understanding is if George Washington basically was the king, he was crowned king of America as opposed to a presidency, what would that have been like? And so each, the story is about Princess Beatrice and the Washingtons as a royal family, but it's considered, it's two and a half centuries later, um, the, the house of Washington is still basically on the throne. And what does that mean for us and what is life like at that time? And so I'm excited to try that and see what that means. Okay, so then I saw this, and I think this is a pretty popular book. It is the, the Night Swim, and The Night Swim is written by Megan Golden, and I've heard a lot of really good things about it, that it is riveting, that it is, once you start, you cannot stop reading it, that it is like a locked room mystery, again, like and I've heard that there are some that there's some um, non consensual situations that happen that are kind of controversial in here. So crime podcast host covering a controversial trial trial finds herself drawn deep into a small town's dark past and a brutal crime took place there years before. So. I heard this story is riveting. I heard it's really good. I heard that it is like once you start, you can't stop and it's it's on you're on the edge of your seat and riveted all the way through the story. So I'm really really excited to maybe take a break from all my dark romances and try this. And then the last book that I have is Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. And again, this is like a roller coaster. It's twisted, it's fast-paced. Um that I heard the plot is really strong and really good. And it starts off by saying, my name is Amber Reynolds. There are three things you should know about me. One, I'm in a coma. Two, my husband doesn't love me anymore. And three, sometimes I lie. So I like, it made me think like, this is, we need to unfold the mystery of what happened to her. How did she get into this coma? What happened with her and her husband? And why is she lying? And so she wakes up in a hospital she can't move, she can't speak, she can't open her eyes. She can hear everyone around her, but they have no idea, you know, that she can hear them and that she's awake. Amber doesn't remember what happened to her, but she has a sneaking suspicion that her husband has something to do with it, or her sister, or maybe both. I'm like, oh my God, I'm all in. This sounds so good. I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be um, action-packed, and it's gonna be interesting, and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Okay. So you guys, that is all I have for my book haul today. Hopefully there is a little something different for everybody. And you know, as I read them, I'm going to share them with you. And so you guys can hear what I think about it. But 
that is all I have for today. I'm so happy to be back and hopefully my new version of, of iMovie is going to be is going to cooperate with me and work well. And that is all I have. So you know, I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe. That really helps me out and it lets me know that you like the content that I'm creating. And bye. Thank you.